Oh, there I am. Hello. Oh, it's a bit dark tonight. That's fine. Hold on, let me put the light on a minute. Hold on. Fuck. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. May the light be with you. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I, I, I did go and see that Star Wars, The Force Awakens, man. Fucking crap. Have you noticed, actually, that um, YouTube have now stopped um, web camera movies? You see, I used, oh, I'm using it. Hold on. I'm sorry. You've got, you, with this phone, I'm so used to making web camera movies. And, oh, well, I, you know, and stuff. I've been making web camera movies for quite a few times. And now they won't let you make any more web camera movies unless you sort of like... Um, where am I looking at? It's hard to find a camera. Um, yeah, unless you um, kind of like... Um, Unless you sort of like upload from your telephones now, you upload the telephones, but it's fair enough because the quality is a lot better. But but then again, a, a better quality web camera would have been better. I'd rather have a better quality web camera because the problem with this phone is this the um, actual so I've got a bit of shit in my thing. The actual camera is over there, you see, the camera's over there, which you're not really looking at the camera, are you? You don't really look at the camera because when you make a movie, you're looking at the screen. So next time. It's a very good invention, but Samsung Galaxy. Will you do me one little favour, yeah? One little favour for next time you make a uh, next Samsung Galaxy. I've said this already. Uh, put the camera in the middle. I've, I think I've updated one. No, I'm not repeating myself again. It's Am. That's the problem. I am repeating myself again. Star Wars review tonight. I'm trying to fucking look see what I'm looking at. Oh, there we are. I'll try to look like that. Try and get a good picture. Star Wars review. Absolute. This Force Awakens I thought was crap. Have you ever heard of a man called Alec Guinness? I said, have you ever heard of a man called... I'm, I'm not looking at it. Yes, I am. Alec Guinness. Yeah? Pretty as a picture. A little bit older. <laughs> 50 this year, actually. I'm, I'm 49 now. No, actually, actually, I am I am actually 49. At the moment. In April, April the 19th, actually, I will be... Do you like, do you like my necklace? Yeah, we've got a camera working there. Get a good picture. You've just got to look at the picture, haven't you? That's it. That's it. That, I've been wearing this since 1990. I actually bought this... Um, I was in Australia for a year, and then I came back from Australia. Like, and then I, Because I, I was taking LSD a lot in Australia. I took LSD a lot at home, too. You know, That's where I got that from. That, that's I got that in 1990. I got that in um, some new age shop in... Um, i have to get some new string. Look at that, it's going to break in a minute. Oh shit, I hate it's going to break soon. Look better. Probably. I don't bet any fucking. Some, I've got to buy some shoelaces. Shit, I'm going to have to buy some shoelaces to fix that. I've been wearing that since 1990. Anyway, yeah, well, um, there's Force Awakens, I know I was talking about, yeah. A piece of shit, I thought. I didn't really like it, man. Do you know, I got. This bird was supposed to be like the Luke Skywalker cat, so I don't know. I just didn't like it, man. I didn't like it at all. Especially, it was it was all it was okay. It was a bit corny. It was just so fucking corny. Force Awakens, I thought, was so fucking corny. Like, um, actually, um, you know, they launched the Millennium Falcon into space, and then Han Solo turns up on the door. All just just sort of like happens to be in the neighbourhood. Han Solo happens to be in the neighbourhood in his new spaceship in this other space station or whatever. Oh, we should have searched that planet, said Han. Oh. But you're in the it's a ridiculous storyline actually. It's crap. Hans, you know, like they launched the Millennium Falcon, steal the Millennium Falcon, Falcon, launch it in space, and then all of a sudden, Han Solo is there waiting with Chewbacca in his space station. They just happen to be in the neighbourhood at the same time. Crap. Oh, what the fuck? I walked out. After twenty, uh, after about half an hour, I watched about forty minutes of the film, and I got bored. Force Awakens. I watched forty minutes of the Force Awakens, and he got bored. I and and I got bored. I got bored with the Force Awakens after about thirty or forty minutes. I got just got bored shitless with it. I thought it was crap. I thought it was crap. I walked out after about forty minutes. I was so bored out of my fucking head. Oh, look, Han Solo just turns up with Chewbacca on the doorstep. And how come Chewbacca ain't got any grey fur at all? You know, he looks exactly the same. He ain't grown any grey hairs in Chewbacca. I thought that was shit. I should have given Chewbacca a bit, few grey hairs. 
Should have given Chewbacca a few grey hairs at least, really, you know. But I thought it was a crap movie. It was absolutely corny from beginning to end. Absolute shit storyline. Absolute shit fucking storyline. Anyway, um, I thought it was crap. And as for a villain, what the fuck was that? My God, I was more scared of Mickey the Robot. Was it Mickey? It was in... No, no, no. What was that one in, in Buck Rogers? What was that robot in Buck Rogers? Tweaky? Was it Tweaky? Twinky or Tweaky? I was more scared of that robot than I was of this fucking mask in a clown, this clown in a mask. It was crap. Oh, look, I've got a lightsaber and it's got two more red edges on my lightsaber. <laughs> it's a very special lightsaber because it's got two little red bits on either side. What's the point of that, man? What the fuck is there of having a lightsaber with two little points on it? I thought it was an absolute shite. Absolute piece of crap movie. Absolute total crap. I understand that... I, I walked... Well, the first 40 minutes were absolute shit. I don't know what happened after that because I walked out. <laughs> I walked out of the theatre after 40 minutes. So I don't know what happens in the end. I understand that Han Solo got killed, though. I do understand Han, Han Solo apparently got killed. Oh, that's a pity. But never mind... Luke turned up at the end. Did Princess Leia survive? Did Princess Leia survive? Was Princess Leia in it? You know, or General Leia, weren't she? Was she in it? I didn't. I didn't really watch the film. I walked out after forty minutes. But if Leia and Luke are still alive, I've got an idea for the next Star Wars to make it to repair the damage. Hopefully, that was crap. They did. Did you see what they did to Star Trek, man? They fucked up Star Trek totally. J.J. Abrams totally fucked up my Star Trek. I was on to Deep Space fucking nine, you cunts. I got up to Deep Space fucking nine. And then they destroy the fucking Star Trek. Cunt. Abraham's a cunt. He destroyed the fucking Star Trek. I'd only just got to Deep Space nine and they fucking destroy it. Luckily, I still have all the videos. Ever been on the Voyager before? But they destroy everything. And the point is, Abraham's destroyed fucking Star Trek. He destroyed my fucking Star Trek. J.J. Abrams destroyed my Star Trek. And J.J. Abrams is crap. And he's destroyed Star Wars as a piece of shit movie that was, I think. Personal opinion. I'm Bill. Hello. That was my personal opinion. But I've got an idea. It, are, are Leia and um, Luke still alive at the end of the film? Of um, uh, The Dark Force Awakens, right? Do you remember when Obi-Wan Kenobi died in the first film? Do you remember when Obi-Wan Kenobi died in the first film? Yes? Isn't that true? Hmm? In A New Hope. A New Hope, my dear. You have seen A New Hope, Star Wars? Obi-Wan Kenobi actually died in the very first episode of Star Wars. Yes? I think you'll find that is true. But wasn't Obi-Wan Kenobi also in The Empire Strikes Back as a force? As the force. He was the ghost of the force sort of thing. See, in The Empire Strikes Back, <coughs> in The Empire Strikes Back, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi was a ghost. But, well, not a ghost. He was um, a spirit of the force, wasn't he? Because he'd return to the Force. So how can Obi-Wan Kenobi be dead? Because when he died, when Obi-Wan Kenobi, when, when Obi Kenobi died, he became, you know, the spirit of the Force, man. So how can Obi-Wan Kenobi is still, be, still alive? You can actually do this. I've got an idea for the next one. Ooh. Ooh, for the next Star Wars. Because, you know, actually, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, he was, in, he was in The Empire Strikes Back and he was in the, with, with Alec Guinness. Alec Guinness was in Star Wars. Alec fucking Guinness. Alec fucking Guinness was in The Empire Strikes Back. And Alec Guinness was in uh, Return of the Jedi, right? Isn't that true? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Alec Guinness was in Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Right? Right. So how about I've got a great idea for the next Star Wars. Is Le are Leia and Luke still alive? I don't know. You got to have to answer this question. Are Leia and Luke still alive um, at the end of the Star Wars? I'm trying to get this camera off so it's going to look at you in the eye. Very hard. It's a bit weird. 
because your camera's actually in the wrong place because your camera's on the left hand side when the camera really should be in the middle if you put the camera in the middle of the screen you can look at it like that you see but you've got to go a bit crazy eyes to do that don't you you know if the camera was in the middle of the screen i could get a proper picture but i'm, I'm looking to one direction for something but i'm looking in one sort of like looking that way i'd I'm looking that way, even though the, ca the camera's over here, but the screen is over here, you see. I'm looking at the screen right now, but the screen is actually, um, uh, the camera's there. That's the camera there, you see. So the problem is, your camera's in the wrong place, really. Really, to make a good fucking film, your camera's in the wrong place. Will you put the camera, into next time you make your Galaxy, next time you make your Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy, yeah, can you put the camera in the centre of the screen so that I can look at myself properly? without looking out the corner of my eye, because if you notice, I'm looking out the corner of my eye. But I was saying, um, for the next Star Wars, right, because I thought that, that episode was crap, I really did think it was absolutely a piece of shit. Force Awakens, I thought, was a piece of crap. But are Leia and Luke still alive? Right. Okay. It's 40 years later, after the first film, right? Imagine, this is for the next one. I think Luke turned up at the end of it. But here's for the next Star Wars, if you want a really good one. Here's a good one. You can use computer-generated imagery for this one as well. Um, Luke Skywalker is about 60-odd years old now, right? Luke Skywalker's about 60 years old, you know. And so is Leia, in fact, because Leia is his twin. Leia and Luke are twins, right? And it's, it's like 40 years later, 40 years after, 40 years after Star Wars, right? Or something. And Leia and Luke, still very close... And Luke has taught... now Because Leia's got the Force in her as well, you see. Princess Leia. She's also got the Force in her, as strong as Luke. As strong as Luke. And Luke has trained Leia since uh, Return of the Jedi. Since the end of Return of the Jedi, Luke has been training... Since the end of Return of the Jedi, Luke has been training Leia in the arts of the Force, you see. It's four years later now, right? So they're quite sort of rested and all that, you know, kind of relaxed, yeah. And then Luke gets a vision from Ben Obi Wan Kenobi. From Obi Wan Kenobi. Ben, uh, sorry, Luke Skywalker gets a vision from Ben Obi Wan Kenobi, telling him that there is a disturbance in the Force, a very big disturbance in the Force. Luke, there is a disturbance in the Force. I call this Star Trek Dark Frontiers. It's my idea for a story. Star Trek Dark Frontiers. Hmm? My idea for the next Star Trek. If Leia and Luke are still alive. So if Leia and Luke are still alive, this is my idea for Star Trek. Star Trek Dark Frontiers. Are you ready? Leia and Luke are living on the planet Tatooine. Han Solo. Han Solo died, didn't he, at the end of The Force Awakens? So we have to make this the sequel, because I don't want to destroy your film. I don't want to destroy your film. You know, you can't destroy... You shouldn't destroy history. So um, hopefully Luke and Leia are still alive, right? So this is my idea for the next Star Wars, right? For the next Star Wars movie, my idea. I'm being grateful, yeah. And I thought that film was shit. But I liked the prequels, by the way. I did enjoy the prequels, to be honest, bit corny but there we go and life anyway i like the prequels fuck you but anyway it's 40 years after return of the jedi right and luke and leia and han, han solo and leia are married right and they, they got a child as well i think they had that in the force awakens didn't you han solo's child because han solo and leia had a child and you could go more into depth about your child then couldn't you luke and leia's uh, sorry han solo's and luke's and han solo and leia's child the one who grew up to be that little fucker in that film or something. Apparently some little fucker in the film was this little fucking plastic Darth Vader lookalike sort of shite. <laughs> he was supposed to be the villain, you know, a bit crap. But anyway, yeah, in the next version, all right. Uh, next, next episode, we're on the next episode. So anyway, so they're all living happy and all that, so I, afterwards or whatever. I don't know, there might be something else in there. But anyway... Um, Luke is, is four years later, and Luke gets a vision. Now, Luke, Luke's been training Leia in the art of the Force for four years, like. So Leia is as clever with Luke in the Force. Because Leia and Luke both have the Force inside them, right? Like, mind if I smoke a cigarette? Leia and Luke. 
sorry, Leia and Luke, both very strong in the Force. They both have the Force in them, totally. And what happens, right, is that one night, um, Luke Skywalker gets a vision from um, from uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? So where you want. Actually, I thought, actually, I did think that, um, what's his name? Who played Obi Wan Kenobi in the early Star Wars, in the in the prequels? It was excellent. In the prequels, it was um, a guy from bloody Train Train Spotting, a fucking guy from Train Spotting. You know the one who did um, Star Wars, the early ones. He was excellent doing. He did a great impression of. He did a great sort of that the great Obi Wan Kenobi man. I liked the prequel. I really did love the prequels. I thought they're very good actually. I did enjoy the prequels of Star Trek. I really enjoyed them. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed the prequels of Star Trek. I thought they were very good. But The Force Awakens was a piece of shit, I thought. But anyway, um, let's say that um, Luke Skywalker gets a vision from Obi-Wan Kenobi telling, um, telling Luke that there is a new disturbance in the Force. There's, there's been a disturbance in the Force because actually... Um, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi didn't actually die because he was the spirit. At the end of uh, Return of the Jedi, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, you know, Anakin Skywalker and uh, Yoda were just were spirits of the Force, weren't they? Because actually Yoda was dead, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi was dead and um, Anakin Skywalker was dead, like, and there were spirits in the Force, weren't they? At the end... That was the end of Deep Space, of uh, the end of uh, Return of the Jedi, like. But there were still spirits, yeah? So anyway, yes, Luke gets a vision from Obi-Wan Kenobi as a spirit sort of thing. And um, he tells Luke that there's been storms of the Force. And Luke and, Luke and Leia, because Leia is well-trained in the Force now. She's got her own lightsaber now. L Leia is as clever as Luke in the Force. In fact, she has more powers. She has several other powers apart from what Luke has got as well. They've both got their own powers and they've got the powers of the Force. It's 40 years later and they're in the 60s or something. They're in about 60 years old. He, he, both of them are both about 60 odd years old. And Luke and Leia, um, what happens, basically, they get a vision and, 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 and they have to find... So, uh, and... Um, sorry, okay, I'm drifting a bit. Sorry, hold on a minute. Ooh. We'll fact this up, don't I? But anyway, okay. Now the, the the Empire actually has control of the universe by now, right? The Empire has complete control of the universe. And the Empire is being ruled by Medusa. The Empress. Medusa the Empress. Who is actually the the is it Paladin? The granddaughter of Paladin. But she is so powerful with the dark force. Medusa, it's to totally evil, bright red eyes, you know, long hair and bright red eyes she's got. Really evil woman, like. And she has the power to destroy a Jedi. She has the power to destroy a Jedi by looking at him. And his brain explodes. She's that powerful. She's totally in control of the Empire, the Empress, Medusa. This is Dark Force. I'm sorry, Dark Frontiers. Medusa has totally conquered the, the whole universe, the Empire, has totally conquered the Empire. And the rebels are falling like flies, man. There's not a lot of the rebels left now. They've been, all been destroyed. And the Jedi have all, almost been totally annihilated because Medusa, she has the power of the Dark Force, the power of Sith, so powerful that just by looking at somebody, her, their brains will explode. Right? No Jedi can face up to the Medusa because if you look at her, her, your your brain explodes. She's that powerful with the Sith, you see. It's that powerful. She's like a snake woman. Like a black snake woman, you know. Medusa. She's like the granddaughter of the Emperor of whatever his name was, the Emperor the original the, the original Empire Emperor. She's the granddaughter of him. Like it's forty years after the return of the Jedi. And what happens is like the, the the rebellion is completely fucking scattered and fucking falling to bits. Where right? not a lot left, but no Jedi can face the Medusa. So actually, in the vision that um, Luke Skywalker gets, he's told by Obi Wan Kenobi that he has to find the source 
of the force. He has to find the very source of the force. Where does the force come from, you see? The source of the force. He has to find out where the force comes from. So Ben, so, um, sorry, Luke Skywalker and um, Princess Leia, the General Leia, who's just about survived after getting bombed by the baddies, you know. She's still in there with Luke. And they go in search of the source of the force. You know, they would go on a quest to find the source of the force. Yeah, they have many adventures, and and then eventually they find the sort because they said they can't face. There's no way that they could face the Medusa on their own, even though they're both, both uh, Jedi Knights. Even though Leia and Luke are both Jedi Knights, they can't face the Force alone. They sorry, they can't face Medusa alone, because any Jedi, however talented, who faced the Medusa, their brains just exploded, man. As soon as she looked at them, their brains exploded. She's that powerful, and the Sith. She's so Fucking evil. Anyway, Luke and Leia, they search the galaxy for some time, in a way, and eventually they find a monastery on a planet, a planet Buddha. They find a planet called Buddha, you know, it's sort of like a Buddha planet, a planet called Buddha. Now let's call it a planet called Buddha. Luke and Leia are searching for the uh, source of the force. Eventually they find a planet called Buddha. And these monks protecting, these alien monks protecting a child. There's these alien monks who have spent their entire lives for centuries protecting this child. This child is centuries years old, really is. Right, this force, sorry, this is the source of the force. They find a Buddhist temp, uh, a planet called Buddha. And on this planet there's these Buddhist, these monks, alien monks, who are protecting this child. And they protect the child because the child has been awake for thousands of millennium. And, and their, their lives are dedicated to protecting this little child. It's about, well, it's about eight years old, I guess, this little child. The force. You want to find the source of the force. And, and anyway, they talk to the monks, you know, and they explain that they, uh, what, they're, what they're trying to do to defeat the Dark Empress and they need the help of the source of the force. And these monks take Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia to their monastery and stuff, you know, and they introduce him to this child, eight-year-old child. And Luke says, it's just a kid. And the child says, I am 20,000 years old. What do you seek? And Luke says, help to defeat the Dark Empress who controls the universe. So the child goes, chooses to go with Luke and Leia to fight, to help them defeat the Dark Empress. But the child says, I am the force, I cannot fight. All I can do is block her powers. Because of the, because the, because the force is so strong in this child, he has the power to control the force, you see, because he's the child of the force. He says, I cannot defeat the Sith because their force is so dark. But I can hold her powers back. So anyway, Luke, Leia, and his child, they, they go and find the Dark Empress wherever she is in her palace. Or where, to go and find the Dark Empress of palace. And the child ha hides in the balcony. The child sits on the balcony and starts meditating. It's, it's a blue child, actually. It's a blue child. Luke's about eight years old. And he starts meditating in the, in, on, on one of the uh, other levels, you know, on a different level. And Luke, while Luke and Leia face the Dark Empress, and the Dark Empress, she's fucking powerful. She's got this like her lightsaber is well, it's, it's like normal light red lightsaber. She says, "I don't." She's got it in her pocket. Like she looks at Luke, and Luke starts going, "Ah, oh, oh no!" As soon as she looks at Luke, Luke starts, starts getting scared, and Leia says, "Luke, look at me!" And then Luke looks at Leia. So, so, so to combat, because because her force is so strong in her, the Dark Empress is killing Luke Skywalker with her mind, into his mind, with red beams of light from her eyes. She doesn't need a lightsaber. She's got red beams of uh, uh, red laser beams shooting from the Dark Empress's eyes into Luke Skywalker, and Luke's dying. Like my brain's exploding. And, and Leia says, "Luke, look at me." And then Luke 
looks at Princess Leia and their eyes connect. And as soon as Luke looks into Princess Leia's eyes, a blue light glows. As soon as Luke looks into Princess Leia's eyes, a blue light shines from Luke and Leia between them. And Luke and Leia are the force light. And they, they look at the Dark Empress and she says, Ah! I cannot def... No, she looks at the Dark Empress and Dark Empress starts sort of like... Picks up... So Dark Empress stares at them more. And then both Luke and Leia are really struggling. And then suddenly the the um, the, the force itself, the, the, the child of the force, he starts... He's meditating like... And suddenly the light, she's sort of like shocking... She's shooting laser beams at Luke and, and Leia all the time, trying to kill them now. So they can't get inside her mind. So she's still shooting laser beams out of her eyes. She's still... Sh and, and, and Luke and Leia are fighting with la laser... They, all they've got is, is lightsabers. All Luke and Leia have got are lightsabers. But they, but, but they, got, they can't get... She can't get into their mind. So they're fighting with lightsabers. And, and laser beams are shooting out of Medusa's eyes, like bright red laser beams, like sparks. She's trying to kill Luke and Leia. And, and Leia gets shot. And suddenly... Medusa scratches her eyes. Ah, Leia's a bit wounded. Medusa scratches her eyes. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, 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 I can't focus. Sort of thing. Her eyes have lost their power, and there's the child in the next level. Like is meditating, and he's getting weaker and weaker, but he's concentrating really hard. And the child's brain, the child of the Force, his powers are stopping Medusa's powers, so she can't use her eyes anymore. She can't fight with her laser beams from her eyes anymore. And, and Medusa says, ah, I've lost the power to, to, to kill you with my eyes. And she takes out her lightsaber and attacks Luke and Leia and she strikes Leia in the stomach. And Leia collapses, dying. And Luke looks at Leia and his eyes start glowing red. And Leia, sort of like they're dying, says, Luke, remember. And she dies. And the, and the fucking Empress just lifts up the lightsaber, attacks Luke, and Luke stresses out and says, no! And suddenly, you know, his eyes are like burning red now. He said, no, you just killed my sister, you bastard, you bitch, you know, like, just killed my sister. And Luke fights the fucking lightsaber. No, no, hang on. And she's beating him like shit. And Leia's still lying there. And Leia says, Luke! Take my lightsaber, Luke. Leia says, take my lightsaber. And then she dies. Then Leia dies. And then Luke takes the lightsaber. And he connects it to his lightsaber. So Luke takes Leia's lightsaber and connects it to his lightsaber. And it glows blue, you know, both. And it's a double lightsaber now. They've got them both joined. And he starts swinging the double lightsaber, the double blue lightsaber at, at the Empress. And suddenly, uh, and he's slashing it. And, and it's, they're fighting and they're fighting. And then he stabs her in the stomach in rage. He says, you killed my fucking sister. And the Empress is dying. And she laughs. The Empress laughs as she's dying. So suddenly, Luke's lightsaber starts glowing red. Then Luke's eyes turn red because he killed her out of anger. And he's consumed by the dark force. Then Luke's turned evil. He's consumed by the dark force. And he starts to walk towards the child who was meditating, the force of the child, who is now dying, eight-year-old kid meditating, and he's dying. The, the child of the force is dying now. And... And he's worn out, he's exhausted, you know, still meditating. And Luke walks up to the child and lifts up the lightsaber, about to cut off, he's about to cut off the child's head. He's just about to cut off the child's head in anger because he's so angry about Leia being killed. And, and the child of the force looks at Luke, lifts up his hand. And his blue light comes out of the child into Luke's eyes to heal Luke. The blue force comes out of the child's eyes into Luke's mind. And the child says, remember me.
Now you are the force. And then the child dies. I said, Luke's about to kill him in anger because he's, you know, he's, he got covered by the dark force. And then the child reaches up to Luke and, open, and stares into his eyes and says, Now. And Luke's eyes turn blue again and his lightsaber turns blue. And Luke lowers his lightsaber and gazes into the child's eyes as he's dying. This dying child gazes into his eyes. And the child puts his hands onto Luke's head. And the blue light shines and goes into Luke's head. And the child sighs with his dying breath. Luke, now you are the force. The end. Just an idea I had.